Okay, so we will be using this ribbon. It's like a peach uh, ribbon with a little satiny on this side. This is about 10 yards of ribbon here. Um, I didn't want a thick ribbon. I didn't want a too thin one. So I got this medium one, which will be just perfect. And we're going to be using these little rose petal um, appliques as well. And it is a peachy color too. Um, and it has like a faint green to brown um, leaf on it. So I'll be using about three of those. Um, we will need little scissors. I think um, I would need big scissors to um, cut my jeans. Of course, thread. Um, and I pulled out my little fashion styling um, stuff I had. My little sewing kit with my needles in it. I may or may not be using um, these pearls. I don't know yet. And I pulled out another um, box. But also, the main part is the jeans. Okay, I will be using these jeans that I got for a dollar at the walk in the closet. And I have them folded right there but I just wanted to show you guys how they have the um, white wash right there and then a the blue and this is what I'm trying to match up If you guys can see this pearl right here that I've already added a piece of that ribbon on because I have a, um, a white pearl that has like ribbon on it like that and I wanted that look and this blouse very vintage looking okay and to match these new shoes that I had let me pull that Ugh ribbon out so I came and got as close as I could to all of that but it all will blend in together so stay tuned as I show you guys how I do my do-it-yourself vintage jeans okay so let's get into how I'm going to cut the jeans and I have them laid out here on the ironing board and what I did is I made one cuff but I actually want them a little higher so I rolled them again and I'm going to cut them right here because I want crop uh, pants not long ones at all that's the whole point of me cutting them so I just roll them up and to help you out you can uh, maybe get an iron. I'm not going to do that because I'm just going to cut it but if you want to like get a good guide. So yeah, so I'm going to cut them about here. Okay, so just kind of make sure that they're even out. You know, go to the top of the jean, make sure they're even and stuff like that. And you don't have to be perfect but you start the cut together. And if you can go all the way through cutting them together, then so be it. If not, then what you can do, because I see it's getting hard, because it gets hard right here. You cut one leg. I'm cutting one pant leg by itself. And I'm just kind of keeping a steady hand. Keep in mind, I'm working with this hand that's kind of uh, not right. But you guys who got good right hands, mine's with this neuropathy or whatever it is. Um, it's hard for me to go as I normally would. But just kind of make a straight line as straight as possible. And so see, that's the first pant leg. And then after that, you can kind of like use that as a guide. And then I'm doing the second pant leg. I'm kind of just going, like I said, the same way. Let me get to that part. It is always hard because it's a uh, more material there. And like I said, it don't have to be perfect as long as it comes close to it. Because I know you guys see. And I'm going to make the camera a little closer. And I'm not going to throw this away because I may do something with this also. But there it is there. Um, sorry, you guys. Okay, you guys, let's play a guessing game. This is, you know, the portion that I cut off. And this is another piece. Tell me what you think I'm going to do with this. And I'll see if you guess right at the end of the video when I show you exactly what I'm going to do with this. And this is the other portion of the pant leg. This is how much I cut off. 
So again, what you think I'm going to do with that? Okay, so my mom is helping me out, you guys. You know I've been having problems with my right hand, and it probably was going to just not be right. So she has the needle where she is sewing the rosebud on the bow. And, of course, um, that's the exact size. And I just noticed she cut it fancy right here. So good. Because <laughs> I would have had it raggedy. But, um, so basically, I designed. She's sewing it. And I'll show you guys um, as we go along with it. But that's what she's doing right now. I'm going to probably put about three bows because I don't want to overcrowd it. So, and it's just going to be on one leg. Go, do what you, raise it up. I mean... <laughs> See that part right there? I would have never been able to push that through there because I'm right-handed and then y'all know what's going on. I'm just doing too much on this video. Strange subbies, y'all. They're going to be like, what is she talking about her hand? Her hand. <laughs> Okay, so right now, um, this is like a twisted rope, what would you call this, trimming, and my mother is braiding it because we're going to use it as the strap to my purse that's going to be made out of this piece right here, what I cut off the jeans, and as you can see, this matches the blouse, so everything is staying in the color scheme of things but uh, I, I had suggested the ribbon but I see why she's using this because it's more Ooh, heavier and that. sturdy oh you can you want to um braid the ribbon in with it yeah yeah so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna braid <laughs> the ribbon in with it just to get that uh color and I'll um start recording again okay so we starting this over she has three strands of rope and one of the uh, ribbon so I believe she's going to tie it to get it started And then she's going to start braiding it. And that way, I have that ribbon. You know, that, uh, I guess you can say it's a light peach. I know it's a word for that. Uh, light coral? I don't know. But we have the uh, ribbon that matches the other added ribbon accessories for the strap of the purse. So, just wanted to show you guys that part. Stay tuned for the rest of the way. Okay, so we've got the rope or the strap of the purse done here. And my mom, is this both of the pieces that mm -hmm. I cut? She used one, is using one as a lining. She says so it won't show what? The wrong side. The wrong side or what have you. But the that's only the two base. right sides together. Right. That's the base of my purse. Um, so she's going to go downstairs and I'm not going down there. Uh, to sew it because I want to catch a little bit of that but you guys can tell what's going on and then after it's done I'm going to add probably just one just like that on the purse on the front of it so again strap the bottom of the pants that I cut off and then one of these will go in there Okay, so I'm going to add this. I had this keychain. It's uh, glasses and it's bling. And I saw um, Platinum D, formerly known as Badass Platinum, do some purses. It was name brand purses, but this is a purse, of course, that we made. So I'm going to add this on and I will be adding lace because I do tie, like, you know, ties on my different purses. But I'm going to add the lace. I'm adding this here because I'm going to bling out some glasses almost like that for me. Okay, and um, this is the um, lace. So I'm going to add some lace. Well, actually, I'm going to add this lace. My mom is about to go get it to this purse, too. It's just tied like a, like a scarf, but I will be adding this. So shout out to Platinum D, D for doing that video because I've been having these keychains that I got uh, for my business. And, um, you know, I always buy me one. And I never wear them because my keys, I have so much keys, and this will fall off with all that. But this is so cute. It belongs, and it just fits right here, a charm on there. Okay, you guys, I've pulled out my little um, earring 
kit where I have like fish hook um, backings, um, silver and gold and stuff like that. But I'm going to do some clip-ons. Some clip-on earrings because I want um, to put flowers on them. Okay, and I already did one and I'm going to do the other one on camera for you guys. So I'm using the little rose buzz that is on my outfits, right? And what I'm going to do is use this glue gun. And I'm just going to squeeze a little glue on here. Not much because we don't want it to go, you know, and be messy. I think that'll be good enough. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to redo this bracelet. So you have an old bracelet with a scuff on it. You throw it away. No, nah, we're not going to throw it away. I'm going to add this ribbon to it. And that's the ribbon that I've been working with the whole time. Okay, so all you need is that and a glue gun. And what I'm going to do is put some glue in the inside here. Cause you, and just in case I want to change this up. You see? I'm going to put it in the inside. I wouldn't want to put it there. So the glue is in the inside. Make sure it's on the right side because they have a shiny part. And then you have this. And excuse my nails, y'all. They'll be done, done by the time this video is <laughs> over. So I didn't get the nails on purpose so that I can um, show you guys. So I've glued it in here. And I have about this much. I kind of eyeballed it like Rachel Ray do with her food. And so we're going to. Do this. I don't have to keep talking. Y'all can, you know, pretty much see what I'm doing. We're just kind of tying it around. And I am going to try to leave a little white. Okay, I hope you guys showing. can see. I've gotten down to the end, right? So this is what I'm talking about, leaving a little um, opening. I had to stop before because my mom was telling me, Trey, Trey, glue it. I didn't want to do that. I'm going to glue it in the inside here. So what I'm going to do is cut this so ribbon. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I know this bracelet is going to probably keep spinning around, but I'm going to just put it anywhere on there. So wherever it's at, they can see it. And I'm doing it like this because if I want to redo this bracelet again, I can. And I'm going to put it here. And it's like a set. It's like a set that goes with, and this is the part I hate y'all, the glue. And it'll dry with these earrings. See that? And I will have pictures here. I don't know how the lighting is, but